So here's a question for this room. What exactly is an entrepreneur? The definition describes an entrepreneur as somebody who organizes and operates a business taking on more than normal financial risks and often achieving much more success than was expected. Our next award is all about celebrating a lifetime of achievement in the entrepreneurial spirit. Here to present the Lifetime Aviation Entrepreneur Award, please welcome Mike Rossi from Directional Aviation. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure and honor to introduce to you an aviator who has been involved in every facet of corporate aviation for the past 37 years. He has demonstrated an extraordinary vision for our industry that has always resulted in his companies being on the cutting edge of creating a more efficient or innovative way to better service companies and individuals. As a pilot with over 9,000 flight hours in a multitude of corporate aircraft types, a builder of 11 different aviation companies, and a creator of career opportunities for thousands of professional employees in corporate aviation, he has proven that his entrepreneur and leadership skills are second to none. As the program states and the video will show, his passion for corporate aviation is what truly sets him apart. The passion is at the core of his unbelievable drive and his successful accomplishments. In addition to this unique skill set, as a compassionate person has allowed him and those around him to achieve not only business goals, but personal goals. If you get the time, you should read his book titled Management by Trust, which highlights his proven management principles. I have been fortunate to be involved in his aviation journey for the last 35 years, and it has truly been an amazing ride. When you look at his career, full of outstanding achievements in corporate aviation, it is easy to understand why he was chosen as this year's recipient of the Lifetime Aviation Entrepreneur Award. My good friend and partner, Ken Rickey. Thank you. Now please enjoy the video. Ken Rickey's into aviation more than I think most people are into their industry. I liken him to a Mark Zuckerberg into Facebook because he lives and breathes airplanes. Everything that he thinks about is from how can we do it better, how can we do it differently. The Next Stent program in and of itself, I mean, that was his brainchild years and years ago. Fractional jet revolutionizing a stagnant industry. Even how we treat people, absolutely. Ken has this innate ability to see opportunities that other people couldn't have even imagined. Uh, you know, it's, it's the ability to, to identify unique product niches and then take that creative spark and evolve it into a fully functional enterprise. Ken has revitalized and re-engineered, if you will, the private aviation industry specifically. New products, new services, new ways of doing business, new ways of operating. He's always thinking. He's always looking for uh, an opportunity to expand uh, and change the aviation community. Ken has a, an out-of-the-box view of the world and will always challenge you to look at things not the way you, th you would normally look at them, but in a, in a unique way and see where the unique opportunities lie. Something he has from day one always brought to the conversation, continues to do today. From my perspective, Ken Rickey's amazing. Uh, I, I think if you picked a, a business term, it'd be innovative, but that doesn't speak strongly enough to his capabilities. Through Ken's leadership, business acumen, and passion, Directional Aviation Capital has become a multi-billion dollar force in private aviation. Outside of his business successes, Ken is an active philanthropist and is involved in numerous charitable causes. In 2015, the Ricky Family Foundation contributed funds and a Sky Arrow L600 to support the ABLE Flight Program at Purdue Polytechnic Institute. ABLE Flight offers people with disabilities, many of them military veterans, the ability to challenge themselves through flight and aviation career training. I think when I look back at how Ken and I have managed companies and people, 
We've always told ourselves, we're making decisions for thousands of employees. He's passionate too, okay? He's passionate and he's, he's, he's compassionate with people. Yeah, he's really a visionary, he's brilliant, he's kind. It's those kind of things that makes you want to work for Ken alongside him and try to take his ideas and make them come reality. Presenting the Lifetime Aviation Entrepreneur Award, please welcome the one and only living legend, Stephen Udvarhazy. <laughs> Ken, come on out. <laughs> Don't be shy. <laughs> Ken, I want to present. Ken, I would like to present to you the Lifetime Aviation Entrepreneur Award for your many achievements, your innovation, your leadership, of flight options. FlexJet, and all the other things you've done, you created, nurtured, developed. So we really appreciate everything you've done for aviation, and for the children, and for the future of our business. Thank you. I'm often known for my uh, long speeches, but I'm gonna be brief tonight for two reasons. Well, three reasons, I don't wanna hear the dreaded music. And um, I'm also known to like a cocktail, and it's time to go to the bar. <laughs> but also, being in the presence of so many well-deserved aviators, it has me just a little bit uh, speechless. So congratulations to all the fellow recipients. Um, it's an honor, really, to be in your presence. Thank you very much. Um, you might notice that in my bio that I have a law degree, and that came about because in my early aviation career, uh, my father suggested it might be something I look into because it went from flight instructor to freight pilot to airline pilot, furloughed as an airline pilot, back to charter pilot, company went out of business, back to flight instructor. <laughs> so dad said, you know, a law degree would be a really good thing to fall back on just in case this aviation thing doesn't work out. Well, my dad passed away 25 years ago, but if I think if he could be here tonight in this room, I think he would uh, have to say the aviation thing worked out pretty good. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> my dad um, inspired, he actually inspired my aviation passion. He was the chief financial officer for the Cleveland National Air Show which was the, originally the Cleveland Air Races, the iconic Cleveland Air Races. And so I spent my high school years working there. In fact, the, the, uh, my bedroom walls were decorated not with pennants of Cleveland sports teams. Well, of course, there weren't any pennants for Cleveland sports teams. <laughs> but they were decorated with uh, signatures from the Blue Angels, the Thunderbirds, the Golden Knights, the Snowbirds, and of course, the very great Bob Hoover, who I actually on occasion got to drive. What a wonderful experience I got to have in my high school years with Bob. Um, Dad initiated my passion, but I certainly wouldn't be here tonight if other people hadn't embraced it. And I'd like to thank those people. I'd like to thank Mike Rossi, my friend, my partner for 35 years. Mike, thank you so much for that wonderful introduction. Um, to Bob Sullivan, Rick Michaels, Ed McDonald, and Michael Silvestre, all who insisted on being here tonight, if they have been for the last 30 years. Thank you guys, thank you so much for coming. <laughs> and of course, there's um, uh, the very de our very dedicated employees who, without all their passion, they provide the foundation of, our, of all of our companies, and uh, I'm grateful to all of our employees, so thank you to our employees. I'll close tonight with one other piece of advice my dad gave me. He said, whenever you're given an award or an honor, you need to thank the women in your life. 
And he said you need to thank them very equally so that no one woman thinks more important than the other. So here are, I'm going to thank the women in my life in uh, alphabetical chronological order <laughs> according to their astrological sign. <laughs> Mom, thank you for being here tonight. Thank you for your never-ending support and encouragement. Love you. I say this all the time. I really knew how to pick a mom. Uh, for my daughter, Elizabeth, thank her for your trust, your confidence, your devotion to our family, and my daughter has a passion for aviation. Thank you, Elizabeth. And I say this all the time. I knew how to pick a daughter. And to my wife, Pamela, who I met 13,318 days ago, thank you for your enthusiasm for life, your boundless energy, and your unending love. Thank you. Thanks to all of you in indulging me in just what's been an amazing evening, and I'm so proud to have this award. Thank you. Thank you.